Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back again to another session of One Question a Day. The question that we are going to deal today is with the histology of pulp. A very important repeated asked questions. The answer should go like this. The soft pulp is the soft tissue inside the tooth and it is located centrally. Okay. It's a connective tissue made up of ectomies and chymal and this contains formative cells, different cells and differentiated mesenchymes and blood vessels and nerves. So, Histologically, they are arranged in four distinct zones and identified from dentin to the center. From the nearest to the dentin is the odontoblastic zone, uh, following which there is a cell-free zone, also called as whale zones. Beneath which is the cell-rich zone and forms the pulp core. At this junction, it would be nice if you could draw a representative diagram or your own histological diagram. Histological diagram is more preferred but representative diagram is helpful to make the examiner understand and make your paper stand apart. I would advise to draw both the diagrams. So you have the dentinal tubules, you have the odontoblastic zones made up of odontoplasts, nucleus, odontoblastic process, this could have been marked. Then you have a cell-free zone, very less amount of cells. These are the nerves and you have your plexus of Rashko having, this is the plexus of rashko then you have your fibroblast cells cell rich zones there is numerous blood vessels venules the some lymphatics if present then forms the pulp core so after that you describe from outer to inner in the description the odontoblastic layers lines the outer pulpal wall consists of cell bodies of odontoblast and they have odontoblastic process running towards the dentinal tubules from this odontoblast and Secondary dentin formation, pre-dentin, all are associated with this pre-dentin. The newly formed dentinoid matrix is associated with this odontoblastic layer. Cell-free zone or whale zones found immediately below the odontoblastic zone, relatively free of cells. It is not totally free of cells, relatively free of cells and is transferred by blood vessels and nerves. Has a lot of ground substances. The cell, why this is cell-free zone is there is to facilitate the backward movement of odontoblastic layer when the secondary dentin formation or when the new dentin is laid down or new dentinal matrix is laid down. To facilitate that, a zone is kept free. Cell-rich zone present in the subodontoblastic layer just below the whale zone has more extensive vascular system, blood vessels, capillaries and it is more responsive for the protection. So you'll have, you'll find a lot of different cells. Pulp core, the central region of the pulp, all layers and cells like uh, odontoblast, parts of capillaries, different cells are seen here. Amyloblast won't be seen here. Amyloblast won't be seen here. Clinical consideration, pulpitis, inflammation of the dentinal pulp by the bacterial infection from the cavity. Here, pulp is engorged. Blood vessels are there. A lot of different cells comes in and may cause pain, swelling, and sensitivity. This is the normal histology of pulp. You could find even pulp stones in an aged pulp. You see the clinical relevance, the course, the zones, all things has to be mentioned. Stay connected with this channel for another session. Till then, learn incrementally.